Below in this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple buttons in a single activity. Before, we use just one button in our activity, and it looks something like this. Uh, and to give this button an action, what we did in our class was we defined the button, and then we set a little method uh, to find what the button did. But, let's say you have a lot of buttons, and you have to write 10 million of these methods that can get a little confusing. So what we can do is do something better like this by using case statements. To start out, we obviously need our onCreate method, which runs when the class or when the activity is run. And so automatically when the class starts running, it'll define our buttons as set here. And that corresponds to this method. This method by itself here will not run unless you call it here. And if you don't wanna have all these different methods, you can just throw everything up in here like that. That's good, it's just more organized to put in its own method. So next, we need our method to actually give the buttons an action. For instance, in this one, we have four different buttons. We have a toast, sound, image, and a new activity. Instead of how we did it before here, where we have each individual on-click listener for each individual button, in this one, we have just one on-click listener and several options, I guess you could call it. So for instance, we have the toast button, which corresponds to this button right here. And then we have our sound button, which corresponds to the sound button, and so on. And so we just gotta define the buttons. And whenever that button is found, or whenever, when the program decides that we clicked on the button, it'll run this little command here. So the toast button would run this, and then it won't run anything else unless you click the button again or another one. To make this a little less confusing, I'm going to explain what this is doing here. So we are creating an onclick listener. What we're doing is using the switch statement. Basically the switch statement is analyzing the view.getID, which just means uh, this is our view, this whole thing is a view, and it's getting the ID of the buttons or of anything in it. So uh, we're checking the toast button ID which is the ID of the toast. Here it says ID of the toast. Here it says ID toast button. And then in the case we did click that, you know, this runs. Or in the case of the sound button being clicked, this runs. And so on. And I'll show a little demonstration of it running. 